Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the three major macronutrients. And you may be like, Trevor, what the hell are macronutrients? Well, I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what macronutrients are, why you need to know about them, uh, what they do for your body, and then also we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth about some little intricacies, intricacies that are super, super important about each one and how that's going to affect you. So let's get right into it. What are macronutrients? Macronutrients, if you really just take the word and break it down, macro, meaning large, these are nutrients that we need in large amounts. And when we talk about large amounts for your body, we're measuring these things in grams, okay? We're talking today about the three major macronutrients that provide energy to your body. Just know there are other macronutrients. There are six in total, and these include other things like water and fiber, but we're not gonna talk about those today. We'll just be talking about protein, fat, and carbohydrates. And as I said that, you may have been like, oh, I know what macronutrients are. I don't need this video. Clicks away. No, stick around with me, and I think I'm gonna teach you some things that you probably don't know, or maybe just clarify some things that you have heard misinformation about from whoever the hell you've been listening to out there. That being said, let's first talk about protein. Protein is the one I think most people think about. They think about, oh, I'm on my fitness journey, I need to start getting in more protein, or I need protein for recovery, and those would absolutely be right. You do wanna be getting in a lot of protein. One huge misconception is that here in America, people consume enough protein, and that's really not true. And if we really dive into people's diets and what they're typically consuming, they're not consuming enough protein. Um, yeah, we may be eating a lot of meat or a lot of uh, you know, steak and potatoes, you may have heard, but that's not actually true when it comes down to the amount of grams somebody needs versus how much they're actually consuming. So why is protein important? Of course, we just talked about the muscle that it builds, right? If you really wanna get jacked, that's, you know, of course, yeah, you need a lot, but we also use protein for more things, right? Talking about recovery. If we're talking about enzymes that our body uses to go through metabolic processes, if we talk about hormones, right? You've heard of testosterone, estrogen, right? A lot of these hormones that our body utilizes are made up of protein components. Um, also, one really important thing is bone health. And I don't think we think about that a lot, but protein is super important if we wanna have nice strong bones. Yeah, we need calcium and all that other stuff, but protein is super important too. All right, so let's move on to the next one. The next one we're gonna discuss is carbohydrates. What do carbohydrates do? And if I ask you, would you really know? I think a lot of people will say energy, and that's absolutely correct, but it's more specific than that. Me sitting here right now, I'm not burning a lot of carbohydrates, maybe a little bit for sure, but not a ton. However, if I start walking around, I'm gonna start burning a little bit more. Then let's say I start running, I'm gonna burn a little bit more. As I get into that higher intensity activity, I burn more and more carbohydrates, right? So when we look at things like sports or high stress situations even, if you are a gamer and you're watching this and you're in a really high stress match, you may be burning a little bit more carbohydrates than normal. Now, probably not as much as a basketball player going through an intense fourth quarter, but that's a different discussion for another day. So when we're looking at carbohydrates, we're looking at getting high intensity uh, energy from those foods, all right? The third one we're gonna move on to is fat. And fat is one that's really complicated if you really get into the nitty gritty of it. And that's because there's so many different types of fats. They all have their different roles, but we're gonna keep it really simple. In this video today, we're just gonna talk about in general, in general, fats are gonna be used for energy, right? So now me sitting here, mostly of the energy I'm burning, which of course is not a ton, just sitting here, mostly I'm burning fats. And that's like your low intensity activity. If you're walking around, you know, you're gonna burn a little bit of fats, but that doesn't mean that to burn the fat off of your body, low intensity activity is the best, right? Or else if just by sitting here, I would be burning the most fat and I, everybody would be fit, it'd be super easy. But it's not like that. Fat also has some structural components, so like cell membranes, so it's super important in other things as well, all right? Fat is something that we wanna focus on because fat comes with a little bit more calories than either of the other two macronutrients that we discussed. Protein and carbohydrates give you four calories per gram, whereas fat gives you nine calories per gram. Why do we care about calories? Because calories are just a unit 
of energy, right? A measure of energy that we use to determine what we get from food as well as what we expend through living, exercise. And that's really how we determine a lot of the things when we look at weight loss or weight gain or just overall energy availability if you're looking for increasing your performance, all right? Guys, that's it, super short video today. I wanna hear more about what you wanna listen to when it comes to nutrition. Please put it in the comments below. Um, Like this video if you found value in it, share it with a friend, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be coming with a lot more videos, probably gonna get a little bit more editing in too than just this one. So stick around, catch you later.